I basically deal with anything around text analytics or predictive analytics and um, been really enjoying using Ascribe and been able to get a lot of powerful data out of it. 4.3 million customers a year, about? Yeah, right? yep. And what, 500,000 comments right. from so sat customer satisfaction Massive service. amount of unstructured data that we have. Um, and prior to using Ascribe and text analytics, that data was piling up. Um, really hard to mine, hard to get useful information out of it. Now we're actually able to use the information, understand what the customers are talking about, and use that for decision making. Ha being able to have a consistent methodology and consistent algorithms that are applying the sentiment, I think is really what has given me the ability to have actual insights out of the data. So we have a lot of other um, streams of unstructured data, comment data, social media, that now we can compare the same way because it's using the same methodologies. Text analytics is, is an art form, but um, I feel like we've been able to, through the use of a scribe, make it more of a scientific approach. So the tool made it really simple for somebody that's never used it to go in, make those key topics, and then you can very easily tweak them as well. I think the idea of sentiment is a very simple idea because we know something's good, something's bad. Um, a strong positive sentiment, the customer is very happy, or a strong negative sentiment, the customer is very upset. Text analytics allows you to really focus in on the key areas that you can improve and um, be able to improve the customer experience organically versus um, just trying a bunch of different things and hoping that that improves the customer experience. Using a scribe, we basically have a whole picture of our customer and we're not doing anything extra to touch, touch that customer. It's, it's data we already are gathering. So it's really like doing a bunch of research projects or um, a bunch of focus groups within one data set. So it's, you can really mine that, that customer data and that sentiment what, however you want to and manipulate it and look at it in a lot of different angles and be able to answer the why. The beauty is being able to apply the same groupings, apply the same sentiment methodology to those different data sets so you can see where they vary. And then I can drill in, see what topics under that they're talking about and see what's the highest relevance, and then from that drill into the actual verbatims and add the context. So it really allows you to, instead of looking at 500,000 records, you can really drill in, find out what's most important, and then add the context by looking at a small subset of the verbatims. So that's really where the, the, the strength of being able to make decisions, because you can quickly get to what's most important and see, okay, this is what the customers are actually telling us, and this is what's most important because this is the biggest gap. Service, support, and training have been fantastic. i um, been able to get a hold of somebody right away with questions throughout the whole process. Um, even getting enhancements in the system, I think it's been huge, huge value. The customer experience has been great because they're they're always listening to um, things that are valuable for our organization to see how they can improve the tool further. So we definitely are making decisions based on the text analytics that are improving our customer experience. And we've seen um, improvements in specific decisions that we've made um, that have improved our customer NPS. Thank you.